Hey guys, it's Steve from TechGrove. All right, so you got locked out of your Android because it's asking for the previous owner's info? That FRP lock can be a real pain. But don't worry, I've got you covered. In this video, I'll show you multiple methods to bypass the FRP lock. And the best part? These methods work on any Android device, no matter the brand or where you are in the world. So stick around and let's get that phone up and running again. I want to make something clear. This information is for those who legally own their devices and need to bypass FRP. We don't support using these methods on stolen devices. Respect the law and others' rights. Our video follows YouTube's community guidelines. Now let's get started. First, go to safeunlocks.com, navigate to services, and choose the FRP unlock option. Start by entering your name and email address. Make sure your email is correct and accessible because you'll receive all the unlocking info there. Then, select the brand of the device you want to unlock and enter your IMEI number, accepting the terms and conditions. To find the IMEI of your FRP locked device, check the original box of the device, the back of the device near the bottom, the device settings usually under About Phone, or dial star hashtag 06 hashtag on the device to display the IMEI number. After entering all the necessary information, click the proceed button. You will be redirected to your order and you should receive an email with the unlocking information. Follow the steps shown in the email to activate your order and we recommend watching the tutorial video to understand how to do it. After completing the activation process, you will receive a membership ID associated with your order. Enter this ID in the membership identification box and activate your order. Ensure your device is turned off before doing so. You will receive a new email confirming that the unlocking process has been completed successfully. Once you receive the confirmation email, restart your device to complete the unlocking process. You will see a screen verifying the information. After this process concludes, follow the entire setup procedure without adding any accounts and proceed with the device's default configuration. Upon completion, go to your device settings to ensure that no accounts are associated with the device. This will help you verify your device information and ensure its authenticity. All right, here's the thing. Keep in mind that these unlocking services mainly work best in first world countries. If you're in a situation where you can't access these services or just prefer a different approach, we've got a little bonus for you. We're offering 250 unlocks each week to viewers who need help. All you have to do is like this video, subscribe to the channel, and drop a comment below with your Android model, something like Samsung S9, your IMEI number, and your country. Once you do that, you'll be automatically entered into our weekly selection. And if you're picked, we'll get that lock sorted out for you. There are several ethical and legal ways to remove the FRP lock from your phone. First, you can contact the original owner of the device and ask them to remove the lock using their Google account information. This is the most straightforward method and ensures you are complying with all legal requirements. Finally, if you purchase the device from a retailer, you might be able to return it or exchange it for one that is not FRP locked. This is particularly useful if you discover the issue shortly after purchase. Using these methods helps ensure you stay within legal boundaries while resolving the FRP lock issue on your phone. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more useful content. And don't forget to leave a comment. Let us know if everything worked for you or if you have any questions. We're here to help. So drop your thoughts below and we'll catch you in the next one.